I hate to break it to you, but Jill Louise Starr is many, many, many times more qualified to be U.S. President than Hillary Clinton or CIA Director Jean Sherry Haspel. I grew up and was born at Bethsaida Naval Hospital. I used to live 9,000 feet from... Uh, I used to live in Oakley Avenue. My father had it on his Facebook page for the longest time, uh, McLean. I used to walk into the CIA up the front stairs, open the door, and walk across the Eagle. Does anyone know where it is? Right when you walk into the headquarters. And then in the back, I can uh, take you for a tour, Gina, would you like to? My dad used to take me for a tour around the whole facility. I know my way around Langley. You know, I know um, every time a real deep CIA operative, like my dad, you know, and I'm sorry, but all I've ever asked of my dad was to tell me about my life. Why my birth certificate says I was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, when I have, in his wedding album, I have, still have, uh, it says, my mom, I said, what is this? It says, live birth, $200, Bethsaida Naval Hospital. I said, what is it, mom, when she was alive, God rest her soul? And she said, oh, that's your live birth. It only cost $200 back then when you were born in Bethsaida Naval Base. And my dad has Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh. I asked my dad to fill in some things. And his, uh, I have a PhD in sociology, above it, equivalent. And my dad and the Republicans, um, every CIA director from, and every president from Barack Obama, every U.S. senator thinks the best thing way to handle Jill's rebelliousness. And all I did was, quote, want to write a master's thesis peacefully on whether NATO was committing uh Violating international law when Clinton said, told them to bomb Serbia in 1999. I get thrown out of three schools. I can't get a dishwashing job. It's th over 35 years since it first started. And Harry J. Short, we tried to kill me, take my kids because my ex-husband, uh, I don't even know. The FBI confirmed. It's a long story that Shortway is guilty of this crime. They didn't arrest him. And he's been telling everyone I'm insane. Um, the CIA has been trying to cover it. Instead of being an adult, like I met Monage unintentionally, uh, the whole world has been antagonizing me, torturing me, taking my kids away, making my kids hate me, the U.S. military, you know, thinks this is the best way to handle me. And regardless, Angelina Lanzar, whether it's Republicans, my dear, or... Um, Democrats, or anything you want to call uh, XYZ, quote, quote, uh, Pluto, human being on Earth, uh, in the U.S. government, all of them think the best way to hide is just, you know, say Jill's crazy, her father to call her a liar, take her kids away, try to make her suicide, and impress her in an apartment under... I feel like I'm a Gitmo, solitary confinement. All you have to do is just leave me with $10 a month, no food, no help, nothing, not even uh, an extra sheet. Had my landlord, you know, threaten to shoot me, not do anything about it, not give me a job, have the Freemasons and the landowners uh, not help me at all, and I tell them all, of, like, Julian's shit pizza guy in the corner, not even to give me a dishwashing job, even though I can speak 30 languages pretty much. You know, he says I'm not fluent enough. I've had enough of this fucking town, and I don't care what happens here. Don't come around to me for anything. I think you know, you know how we're going to stand, and that's going to remain this way forever, and it's your fault. So why don't you just antagonize me until, uh, if you want to make someone an upstanding citizen, I'm Barack Obama knows how to do it. Pay off Saudi Arabia or Iran $4 billion, you know, but me, I get to get beat up, killed, have my kids taken away, thrown out of school, oppressed, suffering, starving, all the rest of my family works for the CIA, the U.S. military, and million dollar houses like my sister Hope, and I went to grad school 16 years. I get thrown out illegally, Hillary Clinton slips it under the rug, and now you try to take away my life insurance, Hillary, and uh, Jean Stark Frankel and Judge Judy and the Democratic uh, governor, when I got a letter from the chief executive saying I'm the rightful beneficiary, are you going to do that too, Judge Judy? You're all dead. Arrest me. Because it's not my problem. You've got bigger problems. I have no obligation to help anyone. I do have terrorist information. I have work for you. If you want to control someone and keep them out of trouble, you show them, quote, like me and my dad did in the USSR. We sneak in, we hide, and we show pictures of how great America is, the freedoms of the music, of how you can rise up in the world, of the land of opportunity, the American dream, which does no longer exist. And I'm a good example of it. The United States and the CIA... Vladimir Putin thought it was a good idea to uh, antagonize, torture, and oppress me, and like send me to this Gitmo. And I'm in, in the CIA, and my son tells me, you know, the CIA told him in DC, Mom, start looking for a better job. You're never going to do anything besides dishwashing again if you can get that. And I hate you too. I'm cutting you out of the family, and you could drop dead, and we're going to uh, kill the rest of the US enemies. I consider you on like Vladimir Putin, the head of China, Iran, Serbia, you know, uh, anyone, the mafia, if you're an enemy, quote, 
we're making exotic new viruses. Mom, guess what we're doing? I said, what, Irv? He wasn't drunk yet. It was like 8 a.m. He was taking me to breakfast at the bar where he drank six shots. I said, what's up? He goes, well, Mom, uh, I just want to let you know I work at a chemical weapons biological facility, and we're making a bowl of exotic new viruses and nerve gases 100 to 1,000 times or so stronger than Novichok. My son, Harry told me he was waterboarding at Fort Bragg, and I know he was after taking classes in it in the U.S. Army after Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi said they know knowledge of it. But me, I got knowledge of it. My son confessed. And they were giving waterboarding classes in Nancy Pelosi at Fort Bragg and elsewhere. My son even, I, I already know how to waterboard in the hospital. I think I've been there done that. I think we went and met in Thailand. Anyway, um, I've been to all the black sites. Maybe I've only been to a few. I've been to black sites in Romania, China. You're nothing. You really don't know much about your own company. I really should have your job. Anyway, um, you know, my son wants to tell me. I said, what are you doing with all that shit you're making at Fort Detrick Biological Warfare Facility where you work? I thought you were a military justice manager. He goes, oh, no, it's really a school. It's the smallest one, like, in the country. You wouldn't even know it's there. And he, I went down there. He lives five, right off base, five minutes, four minutes from base. Um, he says, we're using these, we plan to use them to kill, quote, kill all U.S. enemies. So this is a bad day for anyone that thinks they may be, quote, a U.S. enemy of my son. I'm already, I'm his mother. And you could see the shit morals. They're letting my son, you know, I posted uh, five years ago a bunch of pills and liquor. And I said, I'm killing myself right on his Facebook site before he banned me, U.S. Army. And he didn't even call him to see if I'm right. He didn't care if I dropped in. He said that, too. Now his wife's calling me up and saying, I'll never see my kids again because uh, we can't, you won't sign over your inheritance and all your, give us power of attorney. You can't live with us. We're cutting you out. Oh, these are great military values. And I'm going to continue till you're convinced and the whole world is convinced America is the most disgusting, despicable, evil society and worthless on earth as well as being a bunch of dumb fucking asses.